What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm just getting these concrete pads prepped. Prepped for the next ones. So I have these two pads here. I think I'm gonna work on the two that are gonna go here and here next. I'm gonna save these two. Probably gonna save this edge of pads for last. Try to work on all these ones. And then I can really make sure that this edge is square and looks good and everything. Because this is going to be the, the outer edge that everyone's going to be able to see. Over there by the hill. It's going to be mostly hidden. So it's okay if this is a little messed up. I said in the last video that this pad got a little bit out of square somehow. So I'm going to correct it on this next pad. I got to make a shave like a little bit off basically. For some of you who have commented, uh, this hill is going to get dug out a lot, so that's not a concern of mine. That's just something I'm going to be doing lastly. I'm just worried about getting all this concrete laid down first. You can see what I got going on here. I got my Bosch hammer drill. I'm just screwing in holes into this concrete. And then I put rebar in, and you can see how I'm... I do it at slightly at an angle, so this one comes out, this one goes in, and then these two creates like a little wedge, so the concrete can't pull apart, and it can't move up and down. So that's what I'm just going to continue to do right here. I'm using a half inch drill bit, and then I'm using one of these concrete stakes, it's just like a spacer, just a general spacer. I think these are 18 inches long. I want it to come out at an angle a little bit, so I'm going to drill it. I drill it at a slight angle this way. I'm, going to try, I'm, I'm also trying to go in the middle of the slab, slightly below the top. Now this drill bit is only like six inches long. You could use a longer drill bit if you wanted, but it's good enough for me. So then I'm just gonna take my rebar that I've already pre-cut to about 18 inches, and then just beat it in the hole. Now you could use epoxy to put in these holes, but that's basically why I'm putting them at a slight angle, so. I don't really need it. These will never be able to pull out if each one's at a slight angle. Put my next piece of rebar in. This one's a little bit longer than 18 inches, but that's all right. Doesn't hurt anything. This is what we got. Put four in this one and four in this one. We've got my wire mesh right here. I need to remove a little bit of that dirt and then get all this, get the next forms all figured out and level. All right guys, first things first, before I get um, my forms all level, you can see that one's way out of whack. I'm working on getting them square first. Like I said, that one's not square. That one's perfectly square. I'm trying to make up as I go now. So this pad's gonna be pretty much perfectly square. So I'll show you guys here. All right, so if you measure it now from this end, it's seven feet. 
it's gonna be hard for you to see I'm pushing in on it a little bit but it's this one's seven feet as well down at this end diagonally from corner to corner we're at 127 and a quarter and then same thing from corner to corner on this side We are at 127 and a quarter. So now that I know that it's square, I'm gonna screw this board onto the end here. I got a couple stakes just temporarily holding these guys in place. I'm just gonna put one in for now because I need still need to make it all level and everything. So this is just to kind of hold it into place. get my level got this all nice and level it's not perfectly level yet just because I'm not ready to pour right now so if I was ready to pour I would have all my concrete stakes in right there but I just have a couple in here just temporarily just holding my forms in place just so I know where square is I might I might pour this tomorrow or the next day it all depends on the rain this is what I would do I'm just using my board here to get it level. You can see it's still, this side still needs to come down over here a little bit and then it will be perfectly level. So next, let me just show you guys what I do with the wire mesh that I have right here. Got two pieces of this wire mesh. It's eight feet long. So I laid it long wise and then overlapped them. So there's a little bit overlapping here in the middle. You can see this top one overlaps that one about uh, eight inches maybe i like to keep a few inches in from the sides all the way around so here it's about six inches there it's about four so now i'm just going to use this galvanized wire that i have i have a roll of it so i just cut a piece off now i'm just going to tie these to the rebar here and I'm gonna tie them together. So I got a lot of comments on the last couple of videos about leaving the wire mesh laying on the gravel. I thought it was pretty obvious in the video that I didn't do that. Pretty sure I even explained that I didn't do that. But I have a, a puller that pulls wire mesh and I pulled it all the way up, all the way around. So my, the wire mesh that's in both of these pads are in the center of the pad, in both of them. I did not leave it lay on the gravel, not even a little bit. I made sure of it actually, that it was up off the ground about two, three inches. All right, I'm gonna use the rest of what I got. Tie these together in a few spots. You guys can see now, it's all tied to this rebar. Some spots I have it overlapping and then like crisscrossed underneath. So it's nice and secured to the rebar. So over here, I don't have to lift this side up at all. I'll start pouring right here and then as I go so like right here I gotta lift up the rebar a little bit and then lift it up again on the end it's really really simple Whew, it's really humid out here I've been, been sweating a little bit but got this next form all figured out all I really have to do is make it perfectly level this side right here is pretty good it's just that right there really i gotta take out a little bit more dirt and then all that all that can be perfectly level 
but like I said, this is just for the demonstration, just showing you guys how I do all this. Ready to pour this next pad. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to it tomorrow or not. I think it's gonna rain pretty good. And for all you new subscribers, just keep in mind that I'm doing this little project around all my other jobs. Uh, for you guys who don't know, I'm, I do brickwork. I own a small masonry company where I do mostly just brick and stone work, chimneys, pointing, lemon replacements, things like that. Doing this project around all my other work that I have to do, so you guys just have to bear with me a little bit. I'm gonna pull out some more of these weeds before I actually pour that. And then I'm gonna take out a little bit more of that dirt that's right there. And then I'll be all ready to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Just explaining how I'm doing all this, how I'm tying these pads together and making everything level and square and everything. So yeah, if you guys do me a favor and drop a big thumbs up down below, I really appreciate it. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss out on the future videos. This is gonna be a pretty big project and series that I have, so I'm gonna try to stay as active on it as possible. Yeah guys, hope you have a great day. Peace.